Buddha Gautama rose in this world 2,600 years ago in the Indian continent. After long search and practice for the truth, he attained enlightenment at the age of 35 and found the way of escape from samsara, the rounds of rebirths. He had preached his Dhamma teachings for 45 years long and attained Nirvana, passed away at the age of 80. Buddhism is one of the four main religions of the world and has exerted great influence on millions of global beings. His disciples, the Sanghas, monks, have preserved his Dhamma and handed it down from generation to generation without changing, adding and removing anything so that the Dhamma may endure and be propagated. The sixth International Buddhist Sanat was held in Myanmar for that purpose. Beforehand, at the fourth International Sanat held in Ceylon, Buddha's Dhamma were recorded in scripts on palm leaves. Then, during the reign of King Mendon and Mendeley, the king offered his deed of merit to inscribe the Buddha's Dhamma on the marble stone slabs. In 1871, King Mendon organized the Fifth International Buddhist Sanad and constructed the Kudoda Pagoda, where 729 caves were built in orderly sections. Each cave contains a Tipitaka inscribed marble slab with the approximate measurement of 5 feet high and 4 feet wide. Alpha has started its business in 1997 and has been selling and giving services for computer products. It first got in touch with Buddha's Dhamma when in 1998 put the Dhamma teachings in MP3. It also produced Braille system for the School for the Blinds in Jimadai Yango. And for Mendeley Deaf and Dumb School, service was given for the sign language system. In 2001, it created a multimedia CD-ROM for the Myanmar's most famous school of Buddhist scripture, the Maha Gandayon Monastery, and was the first to distribute them in the market. The funds collected from the CD sales were spent for the construction of a building and the monastery compound where trainings for computer application, typesetting, editing, and compiling were given to the Sanghas. Quite a number of Sanghas who could manipulate computers were produced from these trainings. In 2004, the chance to take digital photos to record the stone scriptures at Kududo Bagoda was met and the project to digitalize the stone scriptures started. The Sidigu International Buddhist University has also given its aid in taking these digital photos. Word counts on the stone scripts were also done to record which words appear on which slabs, at which pages, which place, and how many times. To be able to do the count, the scriptures had to be typed in, proofread, and added it, comparing with the original scriptures. In those days, there were no adequate Myanmar font systems yet, necessary to use in the project. Therefore, the company invented the Zoji font, which is now the most widely used Myanmar font, and to be able to search the Pali words from anywhere worldwide, the company has Romanized the Pali words using Roman alphabets. As an extended service, the company has also programmed the system with Thai alphabets so that users could search also in Thai language. The draft program of this project was first introduced at the International Manuscript Preservation Conference held at Yangon Theravada University and then again at Burma Studies Conference held on July 26, 2006. After those inaugurations, Meetings with users were held and the technology was introduced at Sidigu University and Mahagandayo Monastery. The service of the company has let Myanmar get access to translated Buddhist scriptures and teachings. 
divided under related titles and sections. These systems are installed at and donated to the schools of scripture and also to the concerning university departments all over the country. ไซคลิปเสร็จแล้วเสร็จแล้วอ่ะขาดจ้ะเนาะดิโลโซลูชันแต่ซันจีอูมาเบ้สุบิเนาะเลลัมมีเดียมยากูแต่ซันจีเน
which stands near Kudodo Pagoda, were also digitalized. ဒီကျောက်စာရေးကိုပြန်ပြီးလေးလာပြီးရဘူးစင်တို့တော့တော့တော့ကံကောင်းလာပြီဘူးအဲ့ဒါကိုယ်ရဲမြတ်သူလို